Annie, I am so surprised and shocked at the same time by whatever posture Tabitha has taken this morning. According to Dr. Baumia's logic, from what Tabitha is saying, my name is Dr. Baumia. I am the vice president of the ruling government. The government should increase tariffs at the ports. The government should introduce new taxes. The government should make inflation high that we cannot control. The government should spend recklessly. The government should actually supersede a city that has depreciated a record high in the history of Ghana. But when I am voted to become a president, I, Dr. Baumia, who helped my president as a vice president to put Ghanaians into this economic hardship, would see a turnover. What sort of kindergarten economic solution is this one? And I am so surprised that Tabitha is now realizing that food items are actually seasonal. Under President Mahama and the NDC, food items were not seasonal. Yam was not seasonal. Tomato was not seasonal. Honey, the problem with economic hardships, particularly with the food inflation, that's the MPP is failing to recognize is that there are lots of farm lands that have been converted into Galamse sites under their Galamse campaigns. Hey, I didn't even think of that. Mm. So at the end of the day, whatever we are supposed to even cultivate, the few that we have to cultivate, we can't cultivate and make any earnings out of it mm. because all our farm lands have been turned into Galamse pits. The second aspect of this food inflation is that, Annie, we would have to spend a lot of money to import. And when we are importing, you know, we import with dollars. So if the city has depreciated to the barest minimum, and a city to a dollar is now 16 Ghana cities, mm -hmm. and I would have to import tomato or onion from Niger, how much do you think I'm going to import that product for? And when I come into the country, how much, how much am I going to sell it for? And surprisingly, it is painful that Tabitha and his MPP will seek to run down the intellect of the ordinary Ghanaian trader who has been selling foodstuff all these years that it is on mere speculations that they increase prices. So somebody at Kaneshi Market this morning will just sit at Kaneshi without knowing the price of food items, without even knowing that this is the amount of money I bought the food staff for, and I have to add this amount to it so that I break even or get my profit margin. And that they would have to sit in the market and just wait for anybody to come and make mere speculations, borrowing the worth of his own flag bearer. When mm. the economy is weak, prices of food items will keep exposing you. The painful part of this whole thing is that even if the prices of these items were increased and we have the purchasing power to even buy, then at least we know that we are surviving in this country. And in this country, we are not surviving. It is just by hope, just by the power of God. That is the economic situation of Ghana. So in Ghana, we don't have any economy. We have just by the power of God. Because according to the Ghana Statistical Service, the unemployment rates in this country right now we have over 2.6 million of our labor force who are unemployed. Mm. So you wake up in the morning, oh, yeah. prices of oh, items have increased. And you don't even have anything to do. <laughs> they claim they have created jobs. And this morning, one of the, the materials he gave us when we came, collation of NAPCO trainees. Mm -hmm. And they are saying that they have not been paid their stipend for how many months now? So you make somebody become a, a, NAPCO, a NAPCO call or whatever they call it. You have not paid the person. The person gets up every morning and goes to work and comes back. On borrowed money for transportation, they come back home and don't pay them their service. How do we expect them to feed? And on the training allowances, it took a student to actually remind the vice president that for all the three years she had been a student, she had never received a stipend. And what did the vice president do? Three months out of three years. And we call that pragmatic solutions. I always say that the MPP is well versed in the fact that let's impoverish Ghanaians. Some few months to elections, let's give them something to feed on, treating Ghanaians as if we are slaves in, an, in our own country. Funny enough, they want to attribute everything to global crisis. 
Ani, when COVID-19 came, we were the least hit. If you want to compare ourselves to the global market, what happened in China? How many people lost their lives? They want to compare Russia-Ukraine war. What missile came to Ghana? In any case, the Ukraine government, that we want to cry foul more than them, the economy is actually on the rise. They recorded growth in 2023. What is happening in Ghana? And with the COVID-19 expenditure, and I will say thank you to IMF, because under the IMF conditionalities, they were forced to publish the Auditor General's report on the COVID-19 expenditure. And what did we see in that expenditure? In that expenditure, people from the Ministry of Information paid themselves 151,500 Ghana cities as allowances that they were not supposed to be paid because those allowances were going for people who are health workers and who are actually in the face of risk. Hmm. In that report, right. we paid for vaccines that we never received. We spent millions to pay for vaccines we never received. Under we that same, to that money. Good. Under that same report, the buffer stock paid for an invoice of an excess of over one million, when in fact the invoice was forty million and some coins. But they paid forty one million. So if we misappropriate funds that were given to us to manage our COVID nineteen, and then we turn around to blame the same COVID nineteen that has given us excess than we need. That it is what is making us impoverished in this country. Then I would want to say that if the NPP do not know how to govern, they should stop everybody's time, wasting everybody's time. We are tired in this country. Pack their bus and leave the Jubilee House. Because right. in 2016 and 2020, the message they kept hammering. And I was happy when they played a video from President Ekufuadu oh, yeah. saying oh, that the dollar, the dollar, that was a CD. To 3.80 a dollar to a 3.80 pesos he said that that is not the way to go and then his government is going to make it better so whatever we are experiencing now i say is poor leadership reckless spending and corruption based on the facts that were in the auditor general's reports okay. okay so if you ask me this morning mm. if things times are hard president mahama is saying that under the 24-hour economy, that feeble minds cannot die suffer. We are going to actually level on industrialization and service delivery. And industrialization, we all know that we are going to feed it with raw materials. So whatever policies under the NDC government that we were given, free fertilizers, making sure that our farmlands were working, and then making sure that there were cocoa rows for them to convey their farm produce to these industries, it is going to work. And together... We are going to build the Ghana that we want. Right. Yes. Right. That is time is up. My time is up. I know, I know. But you see, you've given her so much time than me. I just want to say something small. You see, so far, all that she has said, I'm going to summarize it for Ghanaians. She was just taking them through an emotional roller coaster. Even when she decided to proffer a solution, she just made it a ballpark thing. She said there is going to be a 24 hour economy. They are still not explaining feeble what they are going to do. I Master, you cannot explain. give us feeble anti. minds cannot die suffer. Give us so if you have a feeble mind and you cannot die suffer, and come don't and pretend that, that Ghanaians' minds are, minds are feeble Ghanians? like yours. I'm talking Ghanians? to you. Ghanaians, you are talking to who? My dear, you people should go back and do your homework well. What I've realized what that you people just come here and say 24 hours. You couldn't tell and us the 24 hours is going to be service delivery. Do you know the number of in, uh, materials? Did I not talk you about know it? Know so if the you number of industries that, that, that this government has been able to build in Ghana, have do you know you have no idea because you have decided to blind yourself? The number of do you know the number of industries that this government has been able to build so far? How many? They are over 100. That's not true. That is true. That's not true. Some are... The are, people are, 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 I'm are coming. I'm coming. The the let's not make a mistake. Some, some are private. Some, some, some are private. Some are private. My dear, you. look. Humble yourself. You, should. you are here making noise. When you were talking, I humbled myself. <laughs> okay. If you cannot even learn from me, at least be decent in your, your, your submission. I was very gentle when you were doing that, your azar 24-hour attempt of trying to explain whatever you wanted to explain. Look. You cannot keep on deceiving Ghanaians that you are bringing a 24-hour policy when you cannot explain to them how you are doing it. Please, nobody is going to allow you to take Ghanaians through Tabitha, an emotional on, roller coaster. Hold on, hold on. 
What is your problem if a party you, fails Thank you. to explain its policy? What's your problem? Because the truth is that there is already a bomb looming in the near future. And we want to prevent <laughs> Ghanaians from going there. So, yeah. so, so why don't you, so why don't you use the opportunity to explain really yours? Doing, yes, I explain. And this when he tells people that, that, that he wants to advise them, that she the should be humble enough to also take advice when from When he people. is made president, he will ensure that importation duties are subsidized. He, said he is in power now. He, he, he should he do it. it. His Listen, government is in power now. Dr. Baumia is not in opposition. Can't you tell her to hold her horses? You look gentle, but you are not gentle. And this is the style of the NDC people. When you were communicating, I kept quiet. That doesn't mean I'm a fool. I'm not a fool. You sat here and told me that I have a feeble mind. How dare you? No, he didn't say it. She, she said it. She didn't say that. She said it. She you said, didn't listen. No, no. She said it. She pointed no, at me Tabita, and said, you. Tabita. Please. Tabita. There are people she here. And when you want to advise, I'm coming. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did she, she tell she me that? She said, no, I'm coming. Did you? Can you hold that? I don't say heckling. Can you hold her? I don't hold say her. heckling. Nobody is heckling you. You decided Annie, to heckle you were here when she said you she wants to advise to me. me. So if I've taken your you advice in good faith, me. and I'm Annie, advising you, please, I'm watching her. Louisa, 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 Louisa hold on. Us. She said feeble minds cannot decipher. Yes, and I said, what do you mean? And she said, feeble minds like you, you can play the game, the, the, the video again. She okay. pointed at me. And let me tell her that it's unfortunate that she thinks that she has all the wisdom in this world. My dear, you know nothing. Sit down and humble yourself and learn. We are all in this world learning. Every day there is something new to learn. If you don't humble yourself, you will never learn. And that is what they failed to do all these years. Okay. The NDC doesn't learn. That is why I've always told you that. Let's stick to issues. Okay. Okay, one and minute. And so far she has Rita, not just one to for anything. One minute. Yeah. And I mean, so, my dear, mm. you cannot give her one minute because she decided to chop into my time. She was heckling me, so I couldn't make and my she point. She was asking questions. She was heckling me. How, and I was asking you to ask her to shut up. How, how do you mean I cannot? I cannot, I cannot no, that, 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 that is what finally. happened. She you was spoke, interjecting. No. You, do you know how many minutes you spoke for? How many minutes? So far, all I am doing is that I'm trying to stop her from interjecting. I haven't been able to make any submission. Louisa, you have one minute. Annie? One minute. I just want to say this briefly. He who goes to the table of equity must do so with clean hands. You know, okay. if you want to Ghanians advise people, watching. they have seen the that there hasn't been okay. fair, um, what do you call it, distribution of time. The heckling has always come from here. Ghanaians are the best judge. They will judge between the two, the characters that we have portrayed this morning. And I want to talk to my sister. If your government is being heckled and you feel paid with the facts, don't come at people. If you don't know this, learn it today from this desk that you do not go at people. I have never done that on any. I have been talking for this government for so many years. I have never attacked an individual. And for her to sit here and tell me that I have a feeble mind, I leave her to her conscience. That is if she has one. Okay. And going forward, she should learn to humble herself. Okay. There are others that are more wise than her. They are wiser than her. They will never go off track. You are off track. Put yourself in check. When you feel pain that your government is still not able and to explain to Ghanaians. Do, 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 do you have anything to say about it? Don't mind. To, I mean, to, 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 to tell Ghanaians how you say intend to do it for our game of an uh, emotional roller coaster. That is what you people no, are doing so to Ghanaians. To be on so far, that is what you people are doing so to Ghanaians. Okay. You are not giving them any solutions. Okay, well, you are okay, just taking we'll, them through emotional We'll wrap it up here. Ghanaians are aware of the intelligence person. Okay, we'll wrap it up here. I'm grateful for your time. I'm grateful for your time ladies and that's what we have for you this morning good morning and we're back tomorrow